Hi, this is Tracy HD and I'm here to do an unboxing and full flip through out in nature. And today I'm going to be showing you a new release uh, from Rockpool Publishing. Okay, and this is the Earth Song Oracle by Tarn Ellis. And first of all, it's in a very nice sturdy box, kind of like a textured uh, feel to it. Very, very nice. And if you'd like to purchase this deck, you could click the link in the description box below. And this is going to be coming out, I believe, in August. And there is a leaflet inside telling you to download your free Rockpool app now. You could sample, purchase, and play with all of their amazing decks at rockpoolpublishing.com. And let's see, the guidebook is a nice, thick guidebook. Okay, it's going to be a matte finish. And let's see what's inside the guidebook. Dedicated to Mother Nature, my greatest source of inspiration, peace, and joy. Mine too. <laughs> and we have the table of contents. There are going to be 36 cards in this deck. There's going to be an introduction here. And it says, grounded in the knowledge that the answers to everything you need to know are available from the earth. This oracle offers meaningful guidance and guidance directly from nature. The earth sings a song full of lessons and wisdom that can be highly useful to living a human life. If you can decipher its language, Earth Song Oracle offers this translation. And it goes on. Uh, with the introduction, I love this little squirrel and the dragonfly. Very nice intro. And then it's going to tell you how to use the 36 cards. Okay, and it says the within this deck you will find 36 cards, each depicting a different feature of the natural worlds. And then there's going to be some spreads, a single card spread, a three card timeline spread, and then you have a five card flower spread. And I like the fact that there are color pictures. Very, very nice. And it's going to go into the cards. It's going to show you the card on the left side of the page. It's going to tell you what the name of the card is. This, this one is number one, mountain. And the keywords are strength, constancy, and unmoving. It says remain confident in yourself and your path. And then it's going to give you mountain song. Mountain has a deep knowing that she has a divine right to be here. In this knowledge, she stands tall and proud, unmoved and unapologetic. She has been here for much longer than you can fathom and will remain long after you. And then it will give you advice. And this is the meaning of the card here. Uh, when you pull it, it's saying uh, mountain's advice. Whatever hardship or difficulty you may face, remain confident in yourself and trust you are on the right path. Don't compromise or bend too much for another person. Be sure of who you are and where you are going. Although it is sometimes beneficial to be flexible and compromising, doing so too much can make you lose sight of what you really want from life. Avoid being easily persuaded by others and don't be afraid to say no to things that don't align with your goals or morals. In some situations, it may feel easier to run and hide, but in this moment, it is important that you resist the urge. Stand your ground. Remember that you are resilient. Okay, and uh, you are capable of weathering storms that pass over you. You have the strength to rise up and standing, rise up standing tall and proud. What a beautiful, beautiful message. And I would say this is just enough information. It's not too much, it's not too little. And it's gonna go through all of the 36 cards. So nice little guidebook here. I really like this. And let's take a look at the cards. Okay, I'll just take this band off. And these are going to be average size oracle cards. Not too big, not too small. I would say they're average. Card stock is decent. They're going to be a matte finish. And look at this. It's a copper colored gilding. See it? I hope the camera's picking up on it. Beautiful. And I love the rock pool decks that are gilded because they do not stick together. This is gilding done right. I wish everyone else would use the same process that they use because I don't have to worry about trying to peel cards apart when gilding gets stuck together. We have these mushrooms on the back and the moon. And let's take a look at the cards. Uh, this will be number one, mountain. Two is river. 
journey, flow, surrender. Trust your journey and go with the flow. Three, wildflower. Four, lotus. Five, seed. Six, tree. Growth life established. Reach for your full potential and focus on obtaining wisdom. Seven is root. Eight is island. Solitude, independence, isolation. Spring. Summer is number 10. 11 is autumn. 12 is winter. Look at how beautiful the snowflakes. Introspection, difficulty, hibernation. It's a time for introspection. Be prepared for a challenge. Butterfly. Dragonfly. Sun. Card 15. 16 is moon. Phases, femininity, emotion. Be fluid in your feminine energy as you face the different phases in life. 17 is star. 18 is eagle. 19 is whale. Communication, empathy, intelligence. 20 is oasis. 21 is fruit. 22 is crystal. 23 is ocean. 24 is shell. 25 is storm. 26 is rain. 27 is rainbow. Hope, balance, and magic. Be hopeful. Duality and balance create magic. 28 is B. 29 is mushroom. 30 is fire. 31 is water. 32 is air. I love how she included the four elements in this. 33 is earth. So we have uh, beautiful elements and then we have bodies of water. We have everything covered in uh, the earth in this deck. Beautiful uh, depictions of nature too. We have these two doves here and she's laying down. It says contemplation, peace, meditation, slow down and be still. 35 waterfall. And last but not least, 36, Serpent, Rebirth, Shedding, Healing. You are constantly being rebirthed and transformed. Very calm, earthy feel to this deck. Love, love, love it. This is going to be great for me to do a daily draw with these uh, and use it as a meditation focus for my day. And let's see how these are to shuffle. Very easy to shuffle. These would be great for a beginner, seasoned card reader. Um, you can open up a tarot reading with these. You can close a tarot reading with these. You could um, just do an oracle spread. Um, these would be a wonderful gift for a beginner. Um, I can't wait to start using these. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this deck. Um, and if you've enjoyed this unboxing and full flip through uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to purchase this deck for yourself click the link in the description box down below what a beautiful deck this is going to be a welcome addition to my ever-growing oracle deck collection and thank you for watching